Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. Today we are doing something pretty exciting. We are going to be getting our new family member today. We are getting a little kitten and I'm really, really excited to show you guys the whole process. At the end of this video, I'm also going to be talking to you guys about some pet friendly plants and then plants that you definitely do not want your pet to get into. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. But before we do that, I want to show you guys the process of us getting her, so. Let's just get straight on into it. All right, so before we go get Lumi, I just want to show you guys what we have. This here is going to be her little bed. This is a little scratcher and tower kind of thing. Um, there's a little cushion in there and in the little cubby, but I think she'll really like that and it matches really nicely with the whole vibe of the room. I have also only put Hoya's down on the lower shelves of my um, shelves here <laughs> because those guys are not toxic to pets but we will just have to see how she interacts with the plants if she cares but um, yeah we'll just make adjustments kind of accordingly she's also got some random toys in here some mice and we've got one of those little things on a string <laughs> We also have this litter box with a lid. We wanna teach her straight off the bat to use this one. Um, and eventually, once she's bigger, we'll probably put the flap on too. But we are using pretty litter, so hopefully that works out well. This here is her little carrier, and we got her this little cute collar. I feel like, I don't know how tiny she's gonna be, but this is a kitten collar, so hopefully it fits. And then also just some food bowls. And then for actual food, we got her Simply Nourish Source um, dry food, some blue wilderness cat treats in chicken and turkey, and then also some Fancy Feast wet food for kittens. So, so hopefully she likes her food, but yeah, I'm willing to try some different things out. So if not, we'll just try something else. All right, guys, so we just got home with little Lumi. It's really hard for me to show you in here. Oh, hi, sweetie. We're just gonna let her out of the carrier now. <laughs> so she didn't want to eat for a little bit, but now she is chowing down. She really, really likes her dry food. And I think she's mixing it in with the wet food there. So we'll see how she likes it, but if she doesn't finish Oh no, she's eating the wet food, I think. I don't know, we'll see. But she's also had some water, which is good. She is so freaking adorable. She's just been sleeping all afternoon after her little exploring adventure. <laughs> I feel bad not giving it to her, but then when I put it down, she doesn't want it. She just likes playing. <laughs> She's just been sleeping on the chair here all day.
Well guys, it's been about 24 hours since we got little Lumi here. She's been really, really good. She's only missing her mom a little bit, but she slept so well last night. She goes through periods where she's super playful, and then she also loves her rest, of course. She also hasn't really been interested in the plants much. We also really like the pretty layer. It seems to be working really well. She seems to like it. The only issue is that it does track quite a bit. So I think it's just because she's super short and her butt gets stuck in it. <laughs> all from Lumi for this video but I do also want to go through and show you guys some plants that are pet safe if you are planning on getting a pet or if you just want to learn a little bit more about plants and whether they're toxic or not I want to share some plants that would be good for you so one really great option when you have pets are ferns ferns are actually pet safe believe it or not um, they are a little bit more difficult to care for but they aren't going to make your little ones sick. So they are definitely a good option for a house plant that you can feel comfortable having around your pet. We're not really teaching her to like plants, but I just want her to see it. It's a good girl. Another option for pets or for pet safe plants is the Christmas cactus. This is a really, really fun plant. It adds some uniqueness to anyone's collection, but yeah, it's just a really great option if you want something cool and trailing. I believe that all epiphyllums are pet safe. My favorite option for a pet safe plant are Hoyas. Hoyas are so fun. They come in so many different shapes and sizes and they really are a great plant for pet owners because they just don't pose any threat. I've also got my Matilde, so basically all of the plants that I have at this lower level are Hoyas. Um, the only plant that I have that's even slightly low to the ground is this um, Monstera Panata Partita, but it is also in a little stand here, so it's quite a bit off the ground, even if she stands on her two hind feet she can't get up to it. And she hasn't yet hopped up onto this seat or any of the higher shelves. So it's not something that I'm worried about, but if I do see her gaining interest in some of these other plants, I'll definitely move it. Um, I'm not attached to having it right here. So we'll just have to see. She's just having a fun time exploring the apartment. But the great thing is that she's not a big hider. So we're never really looking for her. She's always kind of out and uh, around for us to see. Are you getting into trouble just for the video? You can keep it like that if you like it in there. She really likes the like wicker material. I don't know what it is or these basket types of materials. You're all dirty. Also for the most part, Monsteras, um, Anthuriums, Dracaenas, Pothos, those guys are not pet safe. So you definitely wanna keep them away from your pets if they are super interested. Most of these guys aren't going to be severely toxic to your pet, but it's definitely not a great thing if they ingest them or even if they lick them, they can, uh, they can have a reaction. So definitely be careful with these plants if your pets are interested because they are not pet safe. I almost forgot orchids. The Phalaenopsis orchid family at least are pet safe, which is really awesome because it gives you an option for a flowering plant. And these guys are really, really beautiful. So that is also an option. 
So there are also a lot of other plants that are pet safe. I actually don't have a ton of pet safe plants, so I showed you the ones that I do have, but I also want to mention some of the other ones that I don't. So if you guys are interested in them, you may feel more inclined to go get them. Calatheas are a really, really great option for people with pets. They are safe. They are a little bit more difficult to take care of. I used to have a ton of Calathea if you guys have been with me for a while now, but yeah, I did have a lot of Calathea. Spider plants are also a really, really great option. They actually do attract your pets. So maybe if you don't want your pet touching plants at all, it's not a great option, but Spider plants, while they're not toxic to cats or dogs, they actually cause mild hallucinations, which can be really fun for your pet. So it just depends whether you want that or not. If you love succulents, Haworthias are a really great option. They are pet safe. I don't know about all succulents. I imagine they're not all safe, but I do know that Haworthias are and Echeverias are. Also Peperomias. So if you love the string of turtles, that is a great option. Also the Peperomia obtusifolia, those get really, really beautiful. So those are also in there. I had to go get her. She was distracting me with her cuteness. Bromeliads are also a pet safe plant. Oh, there she goes. She's having too much fun playing today. <laughs> and the last one that I will mention in this video, again, do your research. There's so many plants available that are non-toxic but Pilea peperomioides, for example, the friendship plant, the one with the really nice round leaves, those are also a great option, but yeah, someone's using her litter box over there, but. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I think that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Lumi a little bit. She's definitely gonna be in a lot more videos, so don't worry. Also, if you wanna follow her, her Instagram is at Lumi's Leaves, of course, how could it not be? <laughs> And I am posting frequently on there, so you can follow along on her little journey. But that is going to be all. Don't forget to enter this week's giveaway by clicking the thumbs up button down below, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. That will get you entered. But yeah, that's going to be it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Say bye, Lumi! Bye-bye!